Section 1.1 is a review of some formulas and graphing. So we're going to start talking about the Cartesian or rectangular or XY plane. So just our regular plane that we've been working with forever. So you label your coordinates X comma Y. So the first one is your X coordinate. The second one is your Y coordinate. It goes alphabetical. So just a little review of what the axes looks like, what the quadrants look like. So the horizontal axis is your x-axis, the vertical axis is your y-axis. We start in the positive, positive quadrant, the upper right hand. That one's quadrant one, and then we label counterclockwise. So negative, positive would be two, negative, negative would be three, and positive, negative would be quadrant four. So here's six points. Go ahead and plot these six points, and then label the quadrant or the axis that those points lie on. So point A is in the second quadrant at negative 3, 2. Point B is on the negative x-axis at 0, negative 5. Point C is in the first quadrant at 1, 7. Point D is on the positive x-axis at 4, 0. Point E is in the third quadrant at negative 5, negative 2. And point F is in the fourth quadrant at positive 4, negative 7. So always remember x-coordinate comes first and then the y-coordinate one is in the upper right hand corner and then we label counterclockwise. So the first formula we're going to view is the distance formula. So if you have two points P1 which has coordinates x sub 1, y sub 1 and P2 which has coordinates x sub 2, y sub 2 then the distance formula is you find the difference between the x's so you find the distance between the x's and square it. You find the distance between the y's and square it and add those together and then take the square root of that value. This is the same thing as the Pythagorean theorem. On the Pythagorean theorem, instead of having a square root on this side, you just have a squared on this side. And same thing with the formula for a circle. So given these two points, p sub 1 and p sub 2, go ahead and pause the video and find the distance between those two points. So if you plug in this, the distance between 3 and five, uh, negative 4, the distance between the x-coordinates is 7, or 3 minus a negative 4. The distance between the y-coordinates is negative 3, or, or 2 minus 5, which is negative 3. So now I want to square both of those, so 7 squared is 49, 3, negative 3 squared is 9, and then I'm going to add those together to get 58, and then square root it. Make sure you do order of operations. This square root is like a giant parenthesis. You have to do everything inside but first before you take the square root. And then you can just leave it like this. You don't need to plug it in a calculator. The next formula we're going to talk about is the midpoint formula. To find the midpoint between two points, P1 and P2, you just find the average of the x-coordinates, and that's going to be your new x-coordinate, and the average of the y-coordinates, and that's going to be your new y-coordinate. So add them together and divide by 2. So go ahead and pause the video and find the midpoint of the line segment that is, has endpoints P sub 1 and P sub 2, the same points that we just looked at. So the average between negative 4 and 3, or the x-coordinates, is negative 1 half, and the average between 5 and 2, the y-coordinates, is 7 halves. So your new x-coordinate is negative 1 half, and your new y-coordinate is 7 halves.